I was asked why was it important for me to put together Believe to Win. And my answer to that is to help people remember, but that they need to start with a dream, that they need to start with their vision. You know, that one thing that they were given by God. Now, we all have a purpose in our lives, and we must believe that that purpose is just for us. Now, many times what happens is, is instead we look at vision and we see all of the other words that go along with it and we become bogged down with the bullet points, right? The who, the what, the when, the where, the how. I want to take you back to the very beginning. I want to take you back to your imagination where we were when we were little kids, when we could take a paper airplane and pretend that we were soaring off to distant lands, when things had a happiness with them, there was a joy in your day. But as we grow and mature, we find that those happy times start to blur a little because reality starts to kick in. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with growing up and becoming mature adults, but many times we get stuck in the rat race of being an adult. We're on that proverbial wheel and we go to work and come home, go to work and come home, and we forget that we have a particular purpose, that each one of us has been ordained to do a certain something in this world. And that's what I want to reconnect you with. I want to reconnect you with that vision for your life, with the dream that used to put a smile on your face, that thing that used to get you fired up every morning that you said that you wanted to do. In your mind's eye where you stood in that big glass pane window and you looked across the city or you watched the traffic go by and you imagined that you were king or queen of the world. You know, that day. Now, maybe it wasn't exactly that and you had a version of that. Maybe you were on your balcony or in your patio. Maybe you were simply driving down the street. But everyone has had that epiphany moment when you realize that you had that something special that could change the world. And I want to remind you that, yes, that is who you are. That is who you have been called to be. That is who you have been purposed to be. Let's reconnect with that because I believe that when you can reconnect to the thing that brings you that happiness and that joy, then you can win. When I can teach you how or show you how to bridge what you thought was just imagination to reality, you can be the exact person that you thought that you were born to be. Now, other people may say, I don't see what you're talking about here. Well, here's an epiphany. The vision isn't for them. It's your vision. So they may not see it as clearly as you. And even with your own eyes, you may notice that the path is a little blurry or it's kind of faint, but it's still there. So what is your dream? What is your hope, your aspiration? Is it to purchase your your first home, to start a family? Maybe you want to now work from home because you've started a family. Or maybe you want to start a business that is in an industry that doesn't look like or sound like you, but you know that you will exceed and excel in this field. No matter what it is, I want to tell you this, unless you believe in your product or service, no one else is going to. So what is the first thing you need to do is believe that you're going to win. Connect with that vision. Connect with that dream. 